China uh, and Wuhan in particular had one of the strictest lockdowns of anywhere in the world. So the emissions cut hugely. As the world came to a halt, with traffic levels on average cut in half in major cities, almost immediately we saw air quality indexes plummet, meaning cleaner air. And while emissions did drop suddenly, initial reports are showing some conflicting data. Whenever they're doing a comparison between uh, pre-COVID and post-COVID, they, they have to figure out when the weather conditions are the same, so they're making a fair comparison. A study from the UK shows at the start of the pandemic, 11 of the world's major cities saw sudden drops in nitrogen dioxide, a gaseous compound that can impair our breathing and visibility and deteriorate our ozone. But over the course of several months, while pollution decreased in most cities, London and Paris were the exception. London uh, receives a lot of its particles uh, that are formed in the air from chemical reactions and London was receiving air from mainland Europe. Air quality monitors showed lower pollution, but we're now learning how much weather conditions play a part in pollutant distribution and concentrations. So we applied our special techniques to uh, take out the effect of the weather and then looked at how concentrations had changed compared to uh, the situation immediately prior to the lockdown or the same period in the uh, in the previous few years. According to Enrix, a traffic analytic firm, 40 to 60 percent of drivers were off the roads worldwide in 2020. But larger vehicles like semi trucks still added to emissions, transporting the high demand pandemic products like toilet paper and PPE. Air quality is better in many ways because of the of the pandemic. And what, I, what I'm hoping for is that people kind of got more used to um, telecommuting, uh, you know, having an interview like we're having now over Zoom. 